good morning uh, today is my 20th presentation on the subject of uh, enhancing the productivity of the building designers by using master data tables this in the context of the ethics in the real estate and hospitality industry <coughs> uh, what i plan to include in this presentation are uh, uh, what are the master data tables what are the fields inside the master data tables and what are the activities five activities required to develop the master data tables in each of the design functions uh, 670 fields which have been identified by me uh, in the master data tables relevant for this uh, project uh, functions and uh, other functions associated with that for the real estate industry then there are six illustrations for the master data tables at the rate of two tables for each of the three design functions that is architect uh, interior designing and MEP functions and activities that can reversely impact the business while uh, designing and using uh, master data tables <coughs> what are master data tables for efficient performing of designing related activities for large construction projects the development of master data tables in any function is very very crucial the master data tables in the ERP business environments they contain the core data of a particular business entity or a business object these objects, uh, these tables, they store the most critical information about an object such as design specifications or customer ma customer data or vendor data or material data um, etc. which are used for various directions and reports. Uh, the master data tables need to be configured within the ERP systems like SAP or in the designing software. Master data tables, they carry fields that are used uh, in the to store the specific information about a particular uh, record in the uh, table. <coughs> what are fields? Uh, in the SAP ERP fields, uh, uh, the fields refer to uh, data elements within a database table. Fields in SAP can be of various data types including characters or strings or numbers or date or currency uh, values etc. which I am going to share shortly. In this context of building design software, building design functions, Fields in the each master data table must carry very important information such as below but not limited to the following. For example, it can carry the master, master uh, fields can carry um, drawings and technical specifications like um, BOQ as unique for each design work package such as structure or architecture or interior designing or MEP etc. Uh, scope of the work, what are the line items unique for each design work packages like structure or architecture or facade or MEP etc the date and the value these are just few examples uh, uh, in other interfacing functions also the fields are used to define the structure of the business object for example uh, uh, information related to the customer information related to the vendor information related to the materials or the boq in this in this context uh, the fields are field they store information about a specific business object or determine how to how it is displayed and processed within the sap system now 109 fields as applicable to the building design functions uh, have been identified by me uh, out of 676 fields which are there for which are usually applicable for real estate uh, industry uh, the fields in such tables are identified by the designers but configured with the help of IT or ERP consultants while designing the overall system for the organization very active brainstorming is needed amongst the designers that is architects interior and MEP designers and the IT and the systems team uh, and the project functions or other interfacing function like finance etc uh, to design the contents of the respective master data tables including the fields and you know uh, these uh, master data tables can be subsequently integrated uh, with the uh, standard on other uh, ERP environments if these are there as part of the uh, design softwares. Uh, now master data tables primarily configured for one function in this current context of building design function are used and can be used across many many processes in many transactions of or reports used by the many functions such as project functions or material function or contract function or quality assurance function etc etc for example in case uh, the uh, materials team or the contracts team or the quality assurance team they want to know what are the different master data tables and what kind of fields are available they must refer to these master data tables which have been configured by the design functions besides master data tables fields are also used in the configuration tables uh, and uh, various documents like uh, any kind of documents which are used by the uh, 
design team and other data tables which are stored by them it is but very pertinent to mention here that fields do identified and designed by a specific functions are often used by all functions besides design functions such as construction project and commercial functions uh, for uh, enhancing the efficiency and effectiveness of the activities maintaining the fields data integrity and accuracy it is very very essential for the smooth functioning of each function in the business i am this will be more clear when once i show some uh, specimen examples of the master data table contents now what are the activities required for uh, developing master data tables uh, one is identifying the key master data tables names that need to be developed based on the function requirement of each design function assigning a unique number to each master data table because these need must be these needs to be accessed in the uh, design software or in the erp environments identifying the fields uh, that must part become a part of the master data table and which ultimately need to be uh, populated for uh, making a configuring master data table and identifying the field codes for the digitalization purpose and designing and populating the contents of the master data table having columns uh, as proposed below uh column number 1 uh, although you know most usually it is the erp vendor like sap etc or service provider which govern the design of the master data table design but in any case uh, irrespective of the source uh, these must have at least the following six columns for master data tables uh, what is the name of the function uh, master data tables proposed name proposed table number what is the field name field description and field value Uh, i just uh, show this uh, example what i mean by this uh, now as i was just saying that out of 670 fields 420 428 fields are directly applicable for the project functions for example land buying and selling 16 fields identified design and architecture 27 fields identified design of interior design uh, building 23 mbp uh, services 59 appointing of project consultants and contractors 50 fields construction of building 50 green building certification 7 uh, qs function or measurement 37 project materials 35 project quality management 55 legal and security 9 project completion 15 selling of constructed areas 45 sub total 428 so these are the fields which are which which must become or ought to become a part of the uh, master data tables different kind of master different kind of master data tables now these 676 field which i am saying is in relevant of the 10 design packages which i have captured in my book uh, for example in the case of mbp i have just captured field with respect to the uh, design of electricals and uh, hvac but as you add more packages like fire or stp or uh, lifts or elevators etc the number of uh, uh, fields will obviously increase and these are listed in my uh, book in the lecture 1 f and 1g uh, now there are 220 248 fields which are there uh, which are uh, common and used by other functions also for example uh, the company type is one field for example like name of the company is one field code of the company is one field project what is the name of the project is one field location where the project is uh, construction project is uh, located is one field employee name is one field code is another field so these are just examples of the uh, fields for your better understanding now i have identified as i was saying for financial accounts 50 fields uh, for corporate services 25 fields for legal and security 16 fields it system 16 fields human resource 29 and administration 14 so total 248 uh, so grand total for the uh, for the uh, real estate industry 676 fields now uh, similarly in case uh, Uh, of uh, any engineering function there like uh, manufacturing function or materials procurement for them or uh, uh, quality control uh, final dispatch etc etc um, uh, design r and d for uh, for the real for the engineering industry the number of fields obviously will go up so the total number of fields can go beyond 1000 now illustration of the design uh, fields in the, uh, uh, the in the case of design of architecture let's let's uh, let's look at uh, master data table name as drawings uh, and technical specification master for the civil works only for example so here the fields can be like uh, drawings and technical specification for civil building uh, works packages including voq uh, 
uh, drawings and works and the technical specification for the facade works uh, package drawings and technical specifications landscape works package uh, then uh, these are specifically to the design for the packages but uh, then the, the the other fields which i was mentioning beside the text feed these are uh, for example who has created or who has initiated this field uh, the date of creation uh, and the so on so on many many hundreds and hundreds of more fields can be added beside each of the uh, each of the package and uh, Field value is the exact value which needs to be captured or populated uh, in the context of relevant uh, respective uh, um, package. Okay. Uh, now, now let's talk about the another uh, master data table which is called scope of work master uh, package in the civil works. Now, scope of works, for example, line items for there for structure works packages. Line items are there for the building works packages. Line items are there for the facade works packages and who created who initiated and date of creation and so on and so forth uh, third uh, another illustration and the uh, third illustration and the case of design interior first illustration this field values uh, of course to be populated and these are similar to the one i talked about archi architecture uh, that what are the list of drawings and technical specifications for the scope of the work including the boq for for example for the finishing works drawings and technical specification for the furnishing and fixtures works drawing and technical specification for the equipment uh, like gym or bathroom etc drawing and technical specification for the artwork props etc etc and who created and who, who on date of creation and the uh, more such fields uh, similarly the scope of work for respect of each of these packages the line items uh, these are these will be captured for the finishing works for the for f and f for the uh, equipments for the artwork etc etc likewise uh, for the master data tables in the case of mv functions let's say this we are looking at the master data table for the uh, mep packages so these are like list and drawings and technical specification for the buq related to the external electrical works for the internal electrical works for the air conditioning and vrv works and who created and date of creation and so on and so forth so this is what i was saying that in case you uh, have more number of packages besides uh, electrical and uh, HVAC uh, the number of fields will obviously go up uh, this is uh, related to the scope of work master uh, scope of work related to the electrical works and uh, internal electrical works and uh, uh, for the line items for the equipment etc etc used for these like transformers or whatever it is now what you know why this is important to have these different uh, fields uh, as a part of the master data table because other, every time this these these need to be referred to either by the designer or by the quality person or by the contractor who's going to install these the uh, these must be easily accessible not uh, there should not be any need to retype or uh, rewrite all this once again that's why these are uh, uh, part of the master data table because these need to be repeatedly repeatedly used by different users and that is why these are called as fields in the master data tables and uh, therefore they will these will be uh, surely uh, contributing to the increasing the efficiency of the de design function now what are the activities that can reversely impact the business while uh, designing or configuring the fields or the master data tables now, inappropriate selection of the fields in the master data tables or having overcrowding on the fields making retrieval of the required information very very difficult. Uh, uh, inaccurate populating the master data tables in the three design functions with service applicable fields and their values. Imagine that uh, uh, while we are looking at the say design of architecture function and we in, we uh, we have some fields which are related to the interior designing or MEP etc. It can certainly create chaos. So proper population of the uh, fields within these master data tables is very very important. So, uh, correct selection of the fields is very very important. Now authorized designers uh, colluding and making circular changes in the fields values in the master data tables and executing transactions performing the design. Uh, for example, uh, in the case of tenders, uh, now there are some uh, rates which are there, which will be a field in the context of the design functions. Uh, 
uh, of course it might be populated by someone else but uh, same master data table can have that rate also now imagine that someone going and making a circular chain uh, for in the buq item in the rate and restoring it after some time uh, to the original value uh, in collusion with the contractor so this can certainly a very very uh, uh, adverse effect uh, now uh, once assume that person has made some circular change in the uh, rate or the even the specifications for that matter uh, in collusion with the contractor uh, to and he changes he or she changes the specification uh, and uh, for the purpose of supply uh, and uh, thereafter restores that uh, so it can certainly cause adverse impact on the uh, business not updating the master data tables online as and when changes occur uh, in the scope of the work or uh, fields etc this is very important that because sometimes there is a need for uh, substitute item or alternate items to be used so uh, these master data tables uh, and fields they must be uh, amended online as and when these changes happen in a private authorization of the master data table and the field selection uh, fields used therein I and mean, who is going to use this uh, uh, it means uh, who is going to be given the access for this and not implementing the sod segregation duty concept for approving the master data tables you know as i had mentioned in my earlier presentation that there are five stages for uh, activities in the particular the erb environment who created who initiated who uh, modified uh, de uh, design uh, modified the design who can view who can delete and who can approve so this sod they, they, these they, there need to be different persons preferably uh, preferably different persons subject to the uh, structure permitting uh, so as to to avoid any uh, avoid any adverse uh, changes in these masters now these uh, more concepts about these uh, can be found in my book uh, uh, chapter 6 uh, of my handbook called ethics in the real estate and hospitality industry volume 1 and uh, there are blogs available uh, in my website and uh, of course there are some articles which you can refer to in the facebook or the linkedin um, etc and my book is available in the uh, uh, paperback form as also in the kindle form in the amazon.in and amazon.com internationally thank you very much